so much flam! Apologies make lousy parachutes. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Lone Wolf Garage Motor Vlog. As always, I am Hermos Lone Wolfer and I'm on my girl Bonnie Bellatina. It has been a little while since I made a video. Uh, in that time, uh, a lot has happened. Um, sadly, if you have not seen my update in the shorts section of YouTube, uh, our beloved, sweet, amazing friend, Stasha, AKA Jerkface McGillikitty, AKA my sweetest friend, uh, did develop cancer along with a thyroid issue and we did have to help her along in her journey to the next life. Um, we are still reeling from that loss, um, but we are also deep in preparation for welcoming our first child, gracing us with their presence uh, come the end of this month. And uh, yeah, just a lot going on. And today I am out for a ride in the beautiful, picturesque, northeastern part of Connecticut. There are two reasons that I am out here. Uh, both of them have to do with a Facebook group called CT Motorcycle Rides and Events. On that page, a lot of people show, obviously, motorcycle rides and events, um, destinations, uh, you know, picturesque places to snap a shot. And uh, yeah, one of the big things right now this year is a uh, abandoned diesel station that uh, is just a perfect spot to stop and snap a pic of your bike. And that is one of the places that I'm on my way to. But first, I am actually on my way to get some lunch at a spot up the street from the gas station or diesel station called the Vanilla Bean Cafe. Uh, it's not specifically a motorcycle destination. Uh, it's just a destination for anybody who wants to get some food in this area. But from what I hear, uh, bikers frequent this particular location very often. You might say that they haunt this particular place. So yeah, it's, uh, it's known as a biker haunt, biker destination. And uh, yeah, uh, I've never been, so I figured I would take today while I still had time before uh, a bunch of uh, uh, sleepless nights that are, that are on the horizon in the next few weeks where I probably won't be riding very much just because I will most likely be loopy from intermittent sleep patterns because a little bundle of joy is going to ruin my circadian rhythm. I don't often come riding through this part of Connecticut. Not because it's not nice, because it is. It's fucking beautiful. Like, just absolutely amazing up here. The roads are nice. The, you know, there's, there's not a lot of traffic. But it is, for where I live, off the beaten path. Um, the area where I live right around the lower Connecticut River Valley just has so many amazing roads, so many amazing spots to visit. And it's hard to get away from there when you don't have more than a couple of hours. So this particular ride actually took me about an hour and 20 minutes to get up here using back roads. Um, there was one byway, it's not a highway, but you know, the speed limit is 65 on it. And uh, yeah, it looks like uh, we are here. The vanilla, the vanilla bean cafe. And it looks like there's some, some bikes here, which is nice. I think I'm gonna be like this dude. Park over here in the shade, because the shade.
So my review of the Vanilla Bean Cafe and my grilled Reuben I had is that uh, it's pretty damn good. Obviously, uh, it's gone. So yeah, my one complaint is uh, that uh, they need to up their hot sauce game. Tabasco ain't the best, people. Chibula, you need Chibula. To objective two, which is find the abandoned diesel station. And snap a picture in front. Supposedly it's down towards Brooklyn or Brookline, or I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to pronounce it up here. I don't know if it's more like the New York version or if it's more like the Boston version. This is really pretty. Look at this. It's probably gonna sneak up on me, so. I gotta stay on my toes. I gotta pay attention. I gotta be ready. Where are you, abandoned diesel station? Where, oh, where are you? Pomfret? Sounds very hoity toity, Pomfret, Connecticut. What is this place? This is, uh,. Something nice though. When something doesn't have like a sign saying what it is, like all over the place, it usually means it's really fucking nice. Oh, the Pomfret School. It's pretty fucking nice, Pomfret. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Diesel Station. Where are you? Really hope I'm fucking recording. I don't know, I have a sneaking suspicion. We're not there yet. Graveyard. Not what we're looking for, but a possible second alternative location for a nice picture of Bonnie Belladina here. Well, that's pretty cool. Airline Trail State Park. Still on the hunt. Where are you, diesel station? Part of me wants it to be absolutely desolate, nobody there, so I can take a picture, hang out for a few minutes, maybe record a short or two, maybe a TikTok. <coughs> Another part of me actually wants there to be a bunch of uh, other riders there so that uh, I can maybe find out their thoughts on the draw to this place if we ever find it in my gut though I think I'm on the right track that's not it am I finally getting closer is that biker leaving the abandoned diesel station or was he just leaving his, his place of work I'm gonna guess just his place of work I did find a farm stand Wayne how are you now good and you not so bad hey, Katie go home Daryl we're hitting the Brooklyn town line, so maybe we're getting closer. Maybe. Should I feel hopeful? Should I feel an exuberant passion to find this place? I don't know. It's probably not going to be a very big deal. It's probably going to be very lackluster. It's probably not going to be even a quarter the molehill I have made it out to be. Seriously, where, where is this fucking place? Come out, come out, wherever you are, diesel station. Okay, that's like the third sign I've like seen stating it's Brooklyn, Connecticut. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Now, just show me the fucking diesel station. Oh, found it. There she is. There's nobody here. Here, douchebags. Hey, let's 
Let's take a walk around this place. So there's a diesel station. Obviously no pumps anymore. But there is a building right back here. Looks like it might have some boats in it. It's pretty cool. There is still an old dumpster back here. Some, some pretty big fucking puddles. Maybe a shed or a shitter. Either one would be useful back here. Is that an air conditioning unit over there? Some, some buckets. And uh, another giant puddle. Look at this motherfucking thing. The drainage is not good on this property, is it? Let's see if we can get around this thing without drowning. Oh my god. There's these fucking tadpoles. This fucking tadpole. This, this isn't a puddle. This is a fucking pond. There's literally life in here. Yeah, here you can see just how close it is to downtown, the intersection of Route 6 and 169. Alright, so there it is. The abandoned diesel station in Brooklyn, Connecticut. Found it! Got my silly little photos. And now we are hitting the road. Oh, that was a pretty sweet statue. Who is that? Israel Putnam. That wind, oh my god. So helpful. Almost missed that turn. Because I was enjoying the wind too much. Man, it is, it is fucking hot. Oh my god, it is so hot. Why did I choose to ride out here on like the hottest day possible when the humidity is at like 100%? I don't know, because I'm dumb. Need to go do something different. And I figured uh, a nice motorcycle ride would do my soul some good. If any of you who follow along or stumble across this video actually live in Connecticut or Rhode Island or Massachusetts or anywhere in New England and they want to go to the Vanilla Bean Cafe or the abandoned diesel station for a photo op. Uh, and this is this is what they look like. And uh, if you don't live in the area, but you have places like that, either a good cafe to ride to. I know Hippo Drones does. He's rubbing that in our faces all the time. Uh, but yeah, let me let me see yours, and if you have any good spots that you know offer some good photo ops. Oh, that's pretty sweet. But if you like this one, give it a big old thumbs up. If you don't, keep on trucking. And don't forget to lubricate your brake pads. Rock on. What in the actual fuck is going on here?